I want to talk a little bit more about the video I made about art and living life as art and the fact that art is about intentionality. For something to be more or less artistic and whatnot, the, the, these are all questions of intentionality. And even if you, you, since it's really about the link between the mental and the, the physical, um, you know, you, you can be about unintentionality. Um, it can be that you intentionally are unintentional in your behavior. You know, so you're inten intentional upstream to get, for example, improvisational results or something. But living life uh, as art means living it intentionally instead of things just accidentally happening to you. You intentionally do them. It doesn't mean not making mistakes. It, you can make mistakes because you can intentionally try something, find out that the results are negative. It's not living a, a life that others would like to see, like living a life like Hemingway or something. You know, it's, it's not for other people, my understanding of art, right? It's so, you know, if, if you're, the life that you want to create is, you know, not fun to watch, that doesn't make it not art. What makes it art or not is how intentionally you manage to live it, you know, so how aware are you of the things around you because you have to be aware of what's around you in order to know enough to act in a way that's legitimately intentional and optimized for intentionality and um, I, you know there are other ways to frame these things people just don't seem to understand the, the value of the the metaphors that they use you know I feel like we're here with this revelation that objective uh, epistemology is not the way to go about things and here people are still uh, touting it, even people that admit, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's history, and then they just turn around and use it immediately. It's, uh, it, it's frustrating. Um, it, it affects, you know, reasoning on all of these sorts of things, and how you want to live your life, and whether you categorize it as one thing or another. And it just happens that art is a good general metaphor for action. Um, it, it, it's relativistic, it, it incorporates personal taste, it incorporates engineering, it's, you know, it, it, it's all about intentionality, it, it's about realizing mental things in reality, I mean, it has everything you need from a good metaphor uh, to justify using it to, to understand the, the domain you're trying to understand it with. So to me, action and art make a good pair. I like making those more or less equivalent and putting the question of what is art into, you know, what's good art or what, what, what do we really respect, you know? And, um, you know, applying this as a, as a kind of a, a metaphor uh, with the source domain and, and you know, other, lots of different analytical schools and uh, ways of understanding life. You know, artists have been trying to understand life. So it seems to me a very uh, a good way to look at things. Um, assuming you don't have this entertainment complex where you think art is for other people. I mean, yeah, because no, you shouldn't live your life for other people. But I believe the artist is an expert in living life for themselves, basically. So.